what's up my ms family how you guys doing so i am just getting back i had um an appointment already set for my local urologist so i decided to go because um i know that i'm not going to be able to travel an hour and a half one way you know if something were to happen if i'm in pain and stuff like that so i just kind of put her in the loop as to what's going on what the issues are uh what my other what the uh the specialist said um from the other uh city that i went to and uh, i told her i would just give her a copy of all the um test results and everything um you know that takes place um and when i told her all the tests that was going forth she goes oh well we could have done that here right across the street but i'm like i've been telling y'all was have i was having these issues since january you did not at one point offer any of these testings to try to rule out anything so there you have it um so right now i'm waiting to um be scheduled for my CT and also um, um, my test for the, the, the UDS um, to see what's going on with my kidney functions and a few other things. Um, she also did a, a urine sample today and she said, I, and I let her see uh, what the dipstick results showed yesterday and she said, Hers look exactly the same, so she's sending off for her, I guess, regular culture. But the urologist I seen yesterday, the specialist, he's offering, he's sending off for um, various tests. So don't know uh, what that will show. I'm still looking out for a call from him. What else is going on? Um i do have an appointment to see my gynecologist because i want to make sure that any of my abdominal pains that i'm feeling is not coming from you know my um my um uterus or ovaries or anything like that so i can go ahead and get that ruled out because you know it's just been a journey uh, once I do that, then the only thing I have left is the um, MS um, possibly causing the issues with my kidneys or I could have um, one thing she was saying is, you know, um, kidney damage uh, from, um, you know, uh, the... Um, antibiotics i'm so sorry guys sometimes it, it's a mess anyway um but she was saying a lot of the same things that he said as far as uh a lot of times when we have kidney problems we go to our or we think we have kidney problems we go to our family doctor and when we go to our family doctor what they will do is they will do a dipstick test of our urine and if it's positive a little bit for any type of bacteria what they tend to do is immediately give us some antibiotics just to cover everything uh not really knowing what the issue is which i think has been going on a lot because i showed her one of the uh cultures that my doctor family doctor did and and she uh said looking at the lab results it did not warrant having antibiotics given and I said, well, uh, many of the others that I've gotten also uh, looks the same. So she's saying that, you know, um, make sure that, you know, and the same thing my urologist said, if I'm having issues, any type of symptoms, uh, UTI or whatever, make sure I go to, come to her uh, because what they will do is go ahead and not only take the urine sample, but they will go ahead and send it for a culture because you have to make sure you're given the right treatment so that you can clear up 
an infection if there's one there. And then the downside is like, you know, with other doctors and stuff, um, when they uh, prescribe, when they prescribe you antibiotics and you don't really have an infection, uh, there's nothing there and you're continually uh, taking uh, antibiotics and there's no reason to, you know, then that opens up a whole nother level of issues that you can have uh, with your kidneys or other organs. You get a resistance to antibiotics uh, that you may need to fight um, diseases uh, or infections going forward in the future. Uh, so uh, it's real important that they do a culture. She said the only reason she would ever prescribe any medicines immediately is, you know, if the person is very symptomatic um, with the low abdominal back pain, bleeding, uh, not bleeding, um, um, uh, pain while urinating, nausea, fever, stuff like that. And if you don't have the majority of those symptoms, normally she will do the culture and wait for it to come back and then prescribe an antibiotic. That way she's giving you the right thing and also making sure there's actually an infection uh, that she's treating, which is how it should be. A lot of these doctors, um, like she said, tend to just kind of give you meds um, because they think that's the right thing to do. Um, and when I went through my meds, and I wasn't taking a lot of them because I didn't feel like I needed them, but I had about seven or eight bottles of antibiotics that I did not take, which is ridiculous. And Lord only knows, you know, what that does to the body when you take that much antibiotics. And, and I can almost... I'm almost 100% sure that contributed to uh, the issues that I had with my with my bowels and me having to have that surgery. Um, so definitely, I will not be going to my family doctor again. I will schedule an appointment with the urologist uh, just to make sure the symptoms I'm having are consistent with a UTI and I'm getting treated properly. Uh, the other, on the other note, um, an update with my surgery, um, still not regretting having the, um, surgery for the, uh, the hemorrhoids removal skin tag and the fissure repair. Um, a couple of days ago, I did have, um, bleeding, um, and I saw some blood in my, um, poop. And so... I was concerned, so I called the doctor and they responded back to me and they said it's still normal every so often to see a little blood because uh, the, the sutures that he did on the inside are dissolvable. And as they dissolve and some may not, they may pop out before they dissolve and that may cause a little bleeding, which is fine. So that's normal. So she said just to look out for, you know, any type of infection. But uh, if I don't see any type of infection and there's minimal blood, then I should be good to go. Uh, again, that's normal. So that's been fine. I still have um, a little discomfort. Not a whole lot. Um, but, you know, uh, if I sit on the wrong thing or if I sit too long I get that discomfort or if I'm standing too long um so you know it is a process with the healing I did have the surgery May 13th and today is however many days after that uh so you know the healing is a process but you know I am able to get around walk around uh, as far as as long as my MS allows me to, I still ride with a pillow. Um, one of the great things about having this surgery is that um, I had a skin tag, and I might have had a hemorrhoid, maybe one that from back when I had my son, my oldest son, that was born in '95. Because what happened is they had to 
uh, do that cut uh, because his pressure was going up. So they had to uh, use the suction cup to pull him out. So they had to cut me from front to back to get him out. And, you know, that caused a, a, a skin tag. And, and I also had a hemorrhoid from back then. And it was always difficult to um, properly clean myself. So what I always did was, you know, I would use wet wipes and stuff like that to make sure I was clean. You know, that was always my thing. And um, after this surgery, you know, it's life changing in more ways than one because trust and believe uh, it makes uh, clean up a whole lot easier not to have all that uh, extra in the back back there. So, you know, I'm definitely impressed with that. Uh, the healing is going well. Um, uh, you know, um, I still get a little pressure when I have to uh, go to the bathroom, uh, but I'm not... Um, having any type of leakage i know that may have been a concern i seen online uh that you know that was a possibility so i'm not having any leakage or anything like that um so far like i said i don't see any an infection uh everything looks good um um and yeah so like i said anybody thinking about the surgery definitely uh, go for it uh, because you know the pain can't be any worse than what it was before unless your surgeon you know for some reason makes a mistake but you know it's been you know proven to be pretty successful and I'm happy about it so um, but if you have any questions concerns like again you know you can um, put them under the video and I will answer them for you no problem um, you know I have no issues with that and if it's something I haven't said and there's a question you have about it and you want to an answer to it then by all means uh, put it below the video and I'll answer it for you definitely not an issue but other than that um I am just in wait mode for a lot of my appointments and a lot of tests and as they come through I will let you know uh, what they're saying as it pertains to my MS and i will keep you guys updated as best i can so until next time you know wherever I, wherever you are in the world i hope you have a good morning a good afternoon a good evening or a good night until next time i will talk to you guys soon bye